Hello Dev, welcome back to Dev Made Easy. I'm Rob Sumoniz and today we are going to explore something super cool, making a HTML and CSS image slider. Ever seen those fancy picture slideshows on website and thought, wow, how they do that? Well, wonder no more, we are going to learn it step by step together. No need to worry about complicated stuff, we'll break it down nice and easy. From setting up the basic structure to make it look amazing with CSS. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at creating all its sliders. Ready to impress everyone with your newfound skills? So grab your favorite cold snack and get coffee and let's dive in. Oh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to catch more fun coding tutorials like this one. Ready? Let's do this. All right, then let's get started. We have just this index and also the standard CSS. And let's have a title, HTML and CSS image slider, okay? And underneath this one, let's have a link connect our markup to our CSS. Okay, now let's create our markup. Okay, it's going to be quite simple. Let's have a main section with the class of container. And inside this one, let's have our main wrapper. Okay, a slider wrapper. And inside this one, we're going to have the slider and also the links. All right. Inside the sliders, let's have the images. Okay. Each image is going to have a ID of the slide. Slide 1, 2, and 3. Let me first give it a picture okay the picture number one let's just duplicate this two times let's make a couple of changes here this one is going to be the second picture this one is going to be the third one and as you can see we have also an issue with the slides it's not slide one 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 it's slide one it's slide two and now it's slide three, okay? Let's see what we have so far. It looks like we have three big, huge and ugly pictures, okay? But don't worry about it. We're going to fix that with CSS. Okay, now let's create the links, okay? Outside of the slider and still inside the slider wrapper, let's have a div with the class slider nav, okay? And here let's have our anchor tags. Let's create those ones. The href here is gonna be pointed to slide one, two, and three. Let me just duplicate this this one to the second one and this one is going to be point to the third one so yeah our markup is done let's go into css we are now in the css where the magic happens let's get started and have a css reset so no margin padding and box sizing is going to be about the box so it's going to be the same in different browsers Let's quickly move it to the container and here let's give a padding of two rain is this space here. All right. Now let's go to the slider. The position we want that to be relative. The max width we want that to be 480 RAM. And the margin is going to be zero and auto. All right, and now let's grab the slider, okay? The div where the picture are in. The display is going to be flex, put things side by side. We will also want the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9. All right. Another thing here, overflow X. Some people say auto, but it doesn't work. So let's say hidden. The is scroll, is snap type. Let's say x and mandatory it allows it to step in okay for the scroll behavior let's say smooth make it beautiful okay let's make it better with with a box shadow because right now we just see a picture let's make it close to us 
for the color here is going to be black, zero. Let's see, zero percent, zero percent. And for the transparency, zero dot twenty five percent. Let me save. And yeah, it's looking better. Let me try to make it bigger so you can see. Let's also have a bother radius to make it round or its corners, okay? Bother radius, let's say 0 0.5 RAM. And yeah, it looks much better right now. Okay, and now let's grab the pictures itself, okay? The slide IMG. The flex, let's say 1.0 and 100% cover the, the whole container. The scroll snap align, we want that to be to the start. So it's always snaps to the start of the, of the picture of the next one. Object fit, we need it to be cover. So it covers the full container and keep its aspect ratio. Okay, as you can see, it's already working nice. And in the next step, let's have the links. Okay, let's create that three dots. All right. Let's grab now the slider nav. Okay. Let's display the navigation items in a row. Let's also add a gap of one ram between the navigation items. Let's position the navigation relative to its ancestor. Now we want to place the navigation 1.25 RAM from the bottom of its container element. Let's also align the left edge of the navigation to the horizontal center. Move the navigation horizontally by 50% of, of its own width, effectively center it. And that's also set the stacking order of the navigation above all other elements, okay? With Z index one. All right, as you can see, it's already working, but something miss. We need those three dots here, okay? The ankle tags. So let's now working on that, okay? So it's slider nav, anchor tag. Let's give a width and the height of 0.5 RAM. But the radius 50% because we want that to be round. Let's give a color so we can see it. As you can see right now, we have three dots. So you can use the arrows and also the, the dots. Let's give a different opacity, okay? Because you're gonna have a hover over it. So in, but it's not percent here. Let me fix that. This is a typo. It happens 99 of the time. So here transition, we want some nice transition. Transition on opacity is and dot five milliseconds. All right. We will also want a, a cursor pointer, as you can see. We have this hand, the user knows that he can click on it. And now let's have the hover. So you slide, nav, hover, and let's use the opacity to go back to one. As you can see, okay, it goes back to the opacity one and it's nice. So that's it for today, devs. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. Subscribe. And you always click that like button. So I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. And see you next week.